Our first speaker, Kestuba Karali, Apples and Oranges, Apples and Oranges, Kestuba Karali. Good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters. They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So after my Apple iPhone, <laughs> I love <laughs> my great delicious juicy apples. I thought how wonderful it will be to have an apple tree right there in my garden. I can step out any time and pick the juiciest apple any time I want. Now I am a man of action. I immediately got into action. I saved a few seeds from the apples that I eat. I went to the local grocery and bought the best soil I could buy. I nourished it with fertilizers and minerals. I planted each seed carefully in a pot. I left the pot in the garden where it would get ample of sunshine. I used to feed it like a baby spoons of water every day. And then I waited. I waited a few days. But I didn't see any sign of sprouting. <laughs> I started scratching my head. What's going on? My neighbor said, you need to give your seeds some space. They don't like to be so close to each other. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew apple seeds were claustrophobic, right? <laughs> <laughs> so just like human beings, I decided to give them some space. I chose the best part in my garden. I got a shovel and I started digging. After almost half day of hard labor, I made sure that my land was soft and fluffy, exactly the way the apple seeds would want it. I sowed them carefully at safe distance from each other. <laughs> Somewhere I had read that if you play music to cows, they yield more well. And if you play music to trees, they yield more fruits. So I went and bought a flute. <laughs> <laughs> and I started playing music to my apple seeds. But soon I realized that my skills might actually scare the apple seeds. <laughs> I decided to play it safe and instead hook up my iPod to an amplifier. I used to play one hour of soothing music to my apple seeds every day. I used to spray water with a hand pump just to simulate dew fall. <laughs> about how juicy my apples will be. Because <laughs> I knew, I did everything right, I was all set. But days passed by and there was no sign of any sprouting. I was getting a little impatient. <laughs> what was happening? I did everything right. I even sang music to my seeds. And yet, I didn't see any results. I was staring at my seeds hopelessly, thinking what went wrong. And just I was staring at them, a little close to those seeds, I found a ceiling with little tiny leaves waving at me. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at it and I said, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> 
sucking up all the nutrition that was made for my apples. <laughs> <laughs> and then I looked even more closely and I found that it was an orange seedling. How did that come in there? Maybe it was me who spit it. <laughs> or maybe it was just a bird. Who knows? But it was thriving under the nutrition I supplied to it. Isn't it true, my friends? In life, we spend our heart and soul for something we aspire. We work really hard, but that doesn't mean we get the results we want. But does it mean that our efforts were in vain? It has been a little while ago this incident happened. I don't have apple fruit in my garden today, but I have juicy oranges. <laughs> <laughs> and I love them. <laughs> Think about that one person in your life. To impress that, you join the dancing class. You may still not have that person in your life. But the skills that you acquired in that process are still with you. And those skills will help you find someone even better. Destiny has its own plans. Remember what Steve Jobs said. You can only connect dots looking backwards. You cannot connect them looking forward. You have to trust in something. Your karma, destiny, your gut. Because believing that, the thoughts will somehow connect down the road, will give you enough confidence to follow your heart, even when it takes you off the well-worn path. And that will make all the difference. Mr. Toastmaster.